Do. Okay. Hi. Hello. Nice to, nice to see you. Um, I'm the sales director at House of Edgar, as, uh, as Donald says. Um, what we have here, we are the largest supplier of tarp in the world. Um, we make um, single width tarp with traditional selvage. We make tartans with tuck-in selvages. Um, we do the whole outfits. We have the jackets, the kilts, the socks, the whole thing. Um, we have about, did I say about a thousand tartans? A thousand tartans that we, we hold in stock at the moment, um, which I'll take you through and you can, and you can have a look. Um, we service the market globally. We are um, selling all over the world uh, to either um, higher companies, retailers, um, uh, all kinds of uh, outlets, um, which uh, works very well for us. The company is quite old. The, co the company, yes, yeah, sorry, the company is uh, was established in 1783, so it's, it's 240 years old this year. Um, so we've been making fabric for a long time. It started actually um, up until about six, seven months ago. The company was seventh generation of the same family, the McNaughton's. So you weren't there from the beginning. Uh, I feel like I was, but not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, basically, it started uh, in Rimini, which was um, we had uh, the. the gentleman at that time had a farm and he was um, shearing the sheep with the fleeces, mm -hmm. uh, couldn't get the fleeces spun so he started to do all that uh, on, himself, on his own, started something for himself. The other farmers round about then asked if they could. So this was all in, in Perth area? This, the Perthshire area. Perthshire yeah, area. Perthshire area, area. area yes. Okay, okay. Uh, not in Perth itself but Perthshire mm -hmm. and, um, and then it just grew from there and, and there and grew and grew and grew. We did have the retail outlet in Pitlochry, which Queen Victoria used to stop the train. Queen Victoria, and Queen Victoria used to stop the train and send John Brown in to well, John get Brown, throws. Brown, no John Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get throws and things like that for her. And we have a letter from her saying she very much enjoyed the throws and things like that. Yeah. So we've been around a long time. We've been making fabric for a long time, uh, and we, we we like to think we know the industry pretty well. Um, so as you can see, we have a real variety from traditional tartans through to the um, more, um, what, what would we call them, uh, fashion tarts, fashion, I suppose. Yeah, yeah which is the more, for the more, um, the younger generation maybe get married in the greys and things like that. Yeah. And we have yeah. a wide spectrum right across the board. Of these and you also things. have, as we just move the camera around, the, the aisle the mill, aisle mill yeah. range, the aisle mill which range. is uh, so fashion, uh, mainly fashion uh, and upholstery. Uh, uh, soft furnishings, upholstery, yeah, and we, and we Throws, accessories, yeah. all of these kind of things as well that go along with that to complement. So, so the mill itself is mill itself, further north. The mill itself is in the Highlands of Scotland, in mm -hmm. a, a small village called Keith. And we'll be there tomorrow morning. And we'll be there tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it's equidistant between Inverness and Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. so it's just small. Okay. Um, the village itself, we um, have. The Highland Wear manufacturing there, we have the soft furnishing manufacturing there, we have jacquard looms, which you can see, which is the thing that can develop these kind of things where you've got a, a, a that's a triple cloth, so you have different tartans throughout the fabric, but yeah. it doesn't show through on the black. Okay. So we have very, very complex um, you can show that that tomorrow, we can that, show is that, tomorrow. <laughs> that is technical. That is technical, yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'll have anything like that on the actual loom at the time, but we'll, yeah. hopefully there'll be some, some yeah, things okay. going along there. Uh, and we have, um, um, oh, we'll go right through the process from the, the yarn store, to the yarn breaking down to the, to the water and everything else. So that should help. Okay, okay. good. So, okay. so we start? Yeah. Okay. So if we just want to go come to come So we've got uh, three offices now. Some nice pictures. Here we go. They're, they're original McKeon prints. And we have 72 of them, so. Uh, some here, and some in the whole room, the square around. Um, but yeah, very nice. Very, very smart. Yeah. So then we'll go through to the office, main office here, where we do 
the soft furnishings, uh, sorry, the, the order taken and, and production. Basically, every order that comes in comes in here. Mm -hmm. That will come in by um, email, telephone call. We even have some who still do fax. Fax. You yeah, still one, have or, one or two, we still have fax. Um, it's that, that's the nature of the industry in Ireland. There's some of the, <laughs> not yourself, of course, Donald, but some of them are a little bit older that they, right, they okay. don't have Good. anything other way to put it So every order comes in here, gets taken here, and then we check in the system to see if we have the stock. Once we've checked the stock, if it's in stock, we have the back of the cut out with the, with the date right away, basically, as quickly as possible, um, advising the delivery date. If it's out of stock, production across there. We send an email to production. This is what we want for how quickly we can get it made. It's all scheduled in, and the, in the so they look at they look at the yarns, the colours, the position on the loom, etc., etc. How quick they can do it. They come back to us, yeah. tell us, and then we go back to the customer. I know, I know it's fast. Okay. It, 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 no, that's we, my experience. We try, we try, we try and be fast as we can. <laughs> uh, we have a, a and here we have a, a testing office, basically. So. Um, what we do is every every single colour that comes in before we actually put it into anything, mm -hmm. it gets checked in this light cabinet uh, in the dark. So we put that on. So, it's so when you say colour, you mean the tartan? You know, yarns. Are the yarns? So right, every okay. yarn, the yarn to yeah. make up any um, any tartan. Mm -hmm. So we check every single one. It all. I mean, these drawers are absolutely full all the way down, and these right. ones behind. So we've yeah, got yeah. we've got lots. So basically, just so that everybody knows what we mean by yarn, it's the it's it's this here. So yarn to make the cloth, obviously. Everything has a standard. Yeah. Everything. Every time we order something from the dyer, yeah. they send us a cutting before they send they make it to it. the mill. Right. And, and it has to be the same. It as has to original. be within within a commercial tolerance because yeah. it's not possible to get exactly the same. Yeah. A dyer could dye the same colour. His whole working life and never get it exact tw yeah. twice. Yeah. But with a commercial tolerance, we are absolutely on the money with that though because we are, we know we're in the Well, I know from, from my experience, and I've been around 25 years now with a company, I've never had anyone uh, complain that a tartan is different in colour yeah. to the previous uh, batch. Yeah, it's critical. Yeah. I mean, we, we dye um, thousands of batches every year. Yeah. Okay, so we'll now go through to the warehouse. And this is a area where we are labelling scarves and throws, uh, mm -hmm. this type of thing. What we do is we have our own labels for the, this is the Irish range, so we mm -hmm. have a slightly different label for the Irish range than we do for the other goods. Um, the green, gold and everything mm -hmm. to, to, to go with the plaque. We do the throws uh, as well. Now a throw, just a throw being a, 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 a blanket. Well, it's a blanket type, type thing. Where? Uh, no, well, necess no, it's for the end of a bed, basically. Ah, back right, of, the back of the car. Okay. Uh, back of the sofa. That type of thing. Yeah. Uh, well, this is. Oh, that's, sorry, that's a shawl. I thought it was a throw there. But that's a shawl. <laughs> uh, we have throws. I'll show you the throws across it. That's okay. So a shawl is something we would. A wear. shawl is something that the yeah. ladies would wear. Uh, this is actually for. So that's a regimental uh, for, the the military. for the military for, right. okay. yeah. so we're doing uh, quite a lot of that kind of thing now um, with one company um, in the UK mm -hmm. and actually uh, the same with a company in the USA okay. would you believe so yeah. it's becoming very very popular mm -hmm. to have their own tartans mm -hmm. these are specific tartans for the regiments in the UK and the USA okay. that we're working with at the moment mm -hmm. So if we go across here, uh, so basically there's the cutting room here where all the samples are cut. So anyone who's looking for a little sample of the tartan or the soft okay, furnishings, the sample tartans, samples, yeah. mm -hmm. um, we would set, they just give us an idea of what they're looking for. And mm -hmm. uh, these are all boxed in here uh, with under the, the, the quality number and the name, and then they mm -hmm. would be sent out to the customer. Okay. Um, so we send these out. Here we have kilt marking, so this is where we start the process of the actual marking. Prior, to the cutting is before that, we'll, we, we'll come to that. Mm -hmm. So basically what's happened now is 
every kilt, every kilt that you get in has the, the specific sizes, it's put to set or put to stripe, has all the information on it with regard to is it two or three fringes, and any yeah. buckles and straps, etc. Each one is treated individually. Uh, everything is basically um, measured out to be exact. Mm -hmm. And we do all the marking here. Uh, so we split the, the process basically where we mark out here, mm -hmm. put everything uh, together, we, we sew in uh, with white thread where there's where they're to put together at Paisley. And then we send them down to Paisley at our factory there. Mm -hmm. And that's where they do the actual manufacturing to a point. That then comes back up, and we do the, some hand sewing across here as well as it feels like. Yeah. And uh, if you want to have a look at this, we can show you this. I'll just have a quick look here as well. So, this is you marking in the, the pleats. These are all worked out to, for a specific point to set or point to strike or whatever it may be for whatever for the customers size. looking for yeah. and for the sizing. Yeah. There's one of my kilts sitting there, always there, there's somebody's copying. Yeah. <laughs> and just as it so happens, this happens to be one of your kilts. Not planned, but it's one of your kilts. <laughs> so it's a kilt. It's one of our kilts. kilts. Yes. There you go. Unplanned. And that wasn't planned. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. It comes back here and then. It comes back here and then there's hard so and finish with here. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see we've got the canvas in, uh, in the back there, the lining's been sewn in behind, so the canvas for support yeah. um, around the waist. So this is what the kilt looks like? Uh, opened up basically, opened up, prior yeah. to a lot of the sewing happening, yes, this is exactly it. And that's a pleated to stripes? Pleated to stripes, yeah, with a white stripe going through there. Um, and then sewing in, the, we, we try and use the closest colours we have in the lining so black, blue or green, depending on which yep. looks nicest tartan. within the tartan that would sell, basically. Mm -hmm. And then what happens once, the, once, but just before they go to Paisley, once that fits in, the, 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 this yep. it, so they get rolled up and put into the here, mm -hmm. the red baskets. They then go downstairs yep. and they ship to Paisley uh, once every day. Every day. This is where everything gets examined um, for the soft furnishing and single whip fabrics basically. Okay. We often roll, when they come back for the finishers they're in rolls so we un un uh, inspect them again here yep. prior to them going into stock mm -hmm. and then we would then take them out to go when they're being cut. Could be six months later we re-inspect again. Okay. So nothing goes out before. I think for the, for the, for the when we get to the mill, uh, explain the single whip. Uh, yeah. and sell stuff. You'll be able to see it better there yeah. because that's got to be on the looms itself. Yeah. So basically this is the examination and part of the thing. That's some of the stuff that's come back from the finishers there. Okay, you so can see the on the rolls there some of the yeah. cutting there. So they're, they've come in uh, uh, today mm -hmm. and they'll be waiting to get examined on the rolling so table there. So roll it out on the table and yeah, examine? It, it, it's roll to roll basically yeah. and basically they're looking for any flaws that the, because we actually have the finisher they do a full exam yeah. for us as well prior to them shipping them back there. If there's anything uh, awry they will tell us. Mm -hmm. uh, we would have a conversation as to what they should do with that, send it back so you can see it or basically um, they can try and do something with it and save time rather than send it back and then us send it back to them. So that's the kind of thing we would do. Okay. And then go, that goes into stock. Yeah, so what happens is they would examine it here yep. on the tables on it. Yep. Then when it goes through to the to the, the warehousing for the, the island wear, mm -hmm. it goes onto the, the shelf basically mm -hmm. and then when they take it off they hand roll it out from there because they're okay. cutting it then in 7.4 meters or 8 yards yeah. whatever it yeah, may be. So that, that again it's Can another examination. Yeah of course yeah. So we'll, we'll go now so if it comes through we'll have a look mm -hmm. here. Um, so this is basically the, the storage area for the Highland Wear cans. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we have single width and double width in here. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a couple of spaces there but some of these ones that will come in yeah. will fill some of the spaces. And as I say we have it deliveries twice a week so it's a Tuesday okay. and a Thursday so it's quite quick to, to, yeah. to fill it back up. Um, 
We have the full Irish range here, which is the 32 counties plus the Irish national. We so how many, how many different tartans will you have in the year at any one time? Approximately between 900 and 1,000. Um, and we even have the velvets with the dancers and things like that as yeah. well. Which we, which we, we don't make the velvet ourselves to be professional. Mm -hmm. So we have all the different patterns here. What ha what's happened here is, you can see these are all hand cut. Yeah. Uh, and basically what happens is the guys, they get a, a pick list comes down from the office, mm -hmm. from the sales desk, gets generated into the office here. Mm -hmm. um, they get handed the pick list. Each rack has got a, a, a code on it with a yeah. barcode yeah. that we scan. Each ticket has a barcode on it for each individual tartan. Again, mm -hmm. that's scanned. So it's real time for us when they're cutting. So we know how close we're getting to be out of stock right, or okay. in stock, yeah. uh, however that may uh, work. Yeah. Um, then they take it out, they, they cut it here, and then they scan it with the scanners here. Mm -hmm. That then reduces it in the system, mm -hmm. the quantity. That then goes up back upstairs, upstairs the and uh, they'll take the fabric up there and by the time they've got that up there the system's updated upstairs to the sales desk mm -hmm. so if they're looking for another cut off very quickly for another, same pattern yeah. they will show real time that's what's left so yeah. 10 minutes ago it could have been 100 meters now it could be 90 meters or whatever yeah. it may be so basically some, some velvet yeah. that's velvet yeah. uh, the back papers We'll know this stuff as well for the back pipe covers. The covers, that's exactly <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, we have that, and we have the, as I say, we have that for the, the dancers' waistcoats, yeah, the dancing right. fraternity have that. Can you just have a look at yeah. the old tans? Because that's we, quite. We have, uh, these are basically the traditional ones. Mm -hmm. and then we have the fashion one, yeah. which is the greys and things like that, which are more. Um, Modern. Modern, 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 basically. Non-traditional. Non-traditional, but, uh, and this is where our design team come in, yeah. bringing in new new, new things. Yeah. Um, for the, for the, it's interesting when you look abroad, uh, a lot of the, com the, the, the people are looking still for traditional. Yeah. Uh, and, and, the, and the modern tartans haven't quite got yeah. caught on so much there, especially in America and things. But you can see uh, we have a wide variety of tartans here. Um, we have uh, the uh, muted tartans, we have dress tartans, um, we have the uh, uh, ancient tartans. So a, a real mixed bag in some of the more um, uh, modern, or not modern, but the more, uh, how would I say it, the, the McDonald's and things like that, we have more of these. There more, variations. Have more variations of these, yeah, I should the say. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Certain ones would be more yeah, than yeah. others, depending yeah. on how. how um, but that's a, another thing as well, you know. I mean, uh, the, a, a traditional tartan can simply be modified in colour to, to to become a new variation of that tartan. Correct. But the but the tartan itself remains the same. Remains so the, the same. fingerprint stays the yeah. same, uh, basically. I mean, most tartans will have pretty much. Well, you'll have. Uh, a, a number of tartans that will be pretty much the same set size etc etc yeah. and the, it's the colors that vary yeah. I don't think I think it's difficult to actually come up with anything completely new I think it's probably impossible actually you have variations on a theme yeah. when you're redesigning and that's what the, that's the, the challenge for the design team upstairs yeah. but saying that this is where we get a lot of the custom own designs which if yeah. we make that that becomes specific to that customer um, and that could be corporate, mm -hmm. it could be for private. Uh, it could be private, yeah, it could be a, private a higher private company who pipe bands, pipe bands. Pipe bands. Yeah, yeah. 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 So everyone is um, sort of um, caught in a knot of that now where mm -hmm. they want to have maybe something slightly different. Yeah. It, it doesn't have to be vastly different, it just mm -hmm. has to be different enough to identify them for you know that specific design. It's unique for them. It's yeah. unique for them, and, yeah. and pipe bands especially. You know, if you get, we have we've seen some lovely tartans mm -hmm. uh, going out, and, and they look fantastic. You know, yeah. and, and it's yeah. just a little variation, a little tweak yeah. on some yeah. uh, uh, tartan that's been around for a long, long time.
So we're here at the uh, the mill, and yes, Bill's going to show us around. Yeah. So our factory is uh, here in Keith, in the Highlands of Scotland. Um, we're about two and a half hours north of head office. Mm -hmm. So. Our, fab our fabric's well travelled, I have to say, <laughs> before it actually gets made into anything. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll start off in the uh, yarn store here. So in the yarn store, what happens is the filming that we did in, uh, previously in, uh, in the head office in Perth, showing the um, production department, once they've um, got a ticket ready to send up for a new job, um, that would then get automatically sent to this little office here uh, up in the Highlands of Keith. That is then printed off and then what happens is that ticket determines the, the job itself, what the design is, the colours of the yarns, the quantities of the yarns and everything they need to take from here through into the next process. And when process. you say job you mean the tarting? The, uh, you know, the tarting itself, a, yes. A bolt so or two or three, 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 uh, it's a it's a two seven team, so, so that so these will possibly be in for part of those. And these come in different uh, weights. Different obviously. weights. This is a yeah. two seventeen. This will be a lambs wool. Two seventeen lambs wool. Lambs wool. Okay. For this one. That for scarves. That's for scarves and throws, etc. Yep. etc. Et yep. But the same process happens for everything we weave. Right. Whether that's uh, the tartans for the Highland wear, the scarves or throws, or the soft lambs. So before before the the yarn gets here, this has been dyed. That's this has we, been yeah. We buy the we buy the yarn in ecru, what we call ecru, which is yeah. white, yeah, natural, natural, yeah. Um, and then it goes to the dyer in the Scottish Borders. Okay. Uh, we dye various uh, the, the various amounts depend on how much yarn we use. Yeah. So for instance, black goes into practically every part. Yeah. So, you're so we have, so we might dye a ton of black at a time. Yeah. And that could be every couple of weeks, right. every two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Uh, the certain other colours are red, etc. The same kind of level. And then you go down into some of the smaller colours. So just looking at the yarn spools, we call them, uh, 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 the, the or cones, or cones. cones. So these are ready to go into the machine then. Yeah, or basically. Yeah, that that's the dye it like that. that. Hence the holes there. So the dye yeah. gets penetrated, pushed, pushed through the yeah. cone. So okay. it's even up on the inside and the outside. Right. This is also checked, of course, because if it doesn't come out right, you get what they call flecking. So it's little white areas that haven't okay. actually picked up the dye, yeah. which is a problem in the fabric, of course, because it shows as little white flecks in the dots. So basically, so once the tickets come in, what happens is they, wait, they go in, as you can see, everything's barcoded, all the different racks are barcoded and, and, and the boxes are barcoded and numbered yeah. and what happens is they go and select from that from Perth they will actually tell them which rack to take it from okay. which box etc etc so everything is done very very uh, precisely right. so that's a, that's what we're going to the tartans that's your that's the grist of the yarn that, that would be a heavyweight starting for that uh, no for that's a 224 so that's a medium, medium weight, weight the 216s right. would be slightly heavier than that yeah. okay um, as a yarn for the uh, that's a two seven, that's a lambs wool one. That's a lambs wool. Right. So that's so you want, uh, uh, two six, uh, two six. Well, there's not much. Right. It's just to have a feel and uh, yeah. But getting back to my question, these uh, cones here, uh -huh. they stay on there for the machines. Yeah. I'll so you when know you through, which which weight that is. Is that? Uh, well, basically they go on. What? When you go through, you'll see we actually break the cones down sometimes. Okay. So we have a, a cone winding machine which will break down. Yeah. Just. Because we know what's going to each weight, or each piece per weight, mm -hmm. per colour, yep. we break it down in the cone winder because when you put it on the trail, as you see here, yep. um, you have to set it up. It's like it's like a jigsaw, basically. Okay. The colours oh, do, 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 do all over the place okay. like this, and uh, so they get broken down at a length mm -hmm. rather than a weight. Yep. So that's your that's a heavyweight. That's a heavyweight. Heavy yeah. So you can see that slightly. One. Uh, it's it's a bit heavier. Yeah. yeah. Um, the and, and these will be slightly, this will be slightly uh, more bulky as an ecru, which is the point, because yeah. the dyeing will make it bulk up a bit more. So this is to be dyed, or is this, this used this, for that? This will be a white. A white. Because in the, the tartan, ah, of course, there's always white. Stripes, okay. So basically, we have 
standard white natural and then of course we have uh, for certain colors we have bleached white which is yeah. really pure strong white. pure white yeah um, um so that just accentuates the, the depth of whiteness in it because of course if you're using a natural fiber not mm -hmm. every fleece is the same color yeah so you're taking if you was taking natural white fleece is natural. natural is natural so Obviously. some are more yellow than others yeah. and that's a skill in the dyeing process because he'll have a recipe for every color but what he will do is he'll have to adjust that because what he does, he'll take a cutting out when it's wet, mm -hmm. when he feels he's got the, uh, so he'll start with a recipe of X, whatever color, green, blue, red, whatever, to make a color. Mm -hmm. And then he'll take a cutting out of that when it's partway through the process to see how close he is to what his standard is, yeah. which will be different yeah. from mine at the moment. And he'll have to add or add something into that to get it back on. I think that may be a video for another time. Yeah, well, just I mean, the, the, dying, the dying very process. dirty process, uh, I would think. Yeah, it's <laughs> very, well, well, it's very, it's very precise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be a, yeah. a, a video we could look at. So basically yeah. now, so what we would go from here, once these, the, the, the colours have been selected and put in the box, mm -hmm. you go through to the, to, to the next process. The so now, moving from the yarn store, we will go through to the cone winding and, and warping. Basically, we now have, this is a job here, that's to be uh, made up into the fabric. So these are all the colours for one? That's all the colours for one, so that's the ticket you see. Now you see, that ticket there, with all of this here, it shows you where these will go on, on here, machines. to make the tartan. Okay. And if one of these is out at all, yeah. you have a problem. So it's all broken down at the 31, 4, 46, 12, etc, etc. So this is the cone winder. So what they're doing here, if you turn around this side just now, they're, um, it has the cones on the floor. So what it's doing is measuring exactly the size you'll need for the jaw. The length? The length. The length. The length of the arm. Okay. Um, so basically, as you can see, it's automated and what happens here, that's picking up this one, and when it gets to the point where it's measured the actual length we need, it will automatically stop, open up, and drop that cone down there. So there's no counter on this? So how does it in nodes? It's, 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 it's all built in here. Yeah. Right, okay. So basically, from here, that's them broken down into this ticket here, for instance. Mm -hmm. This is the top of the fabric we're going to make there, if I can come round. This is for this job, yeah? Yes. So basically this job here, you can see the colours, the red and the purple. So it's not a tartan in this instance. That's not a tartan in this instance, this is just a fabric there. The fabric. The same process applies, but you can see the plan is much different yeah. because it's not so complicated. Yeah. But, but every, uh, all the tartans and things that go through the same. So you now setting that up, you see, on the, on the, on the warp mill across here. So she's taking them across, she's reading the plan here. And basically these are all being set up in a specific way so when they come off onto the walk mill that the, uh, they'll create the, des the design and the pattern. I still haven't understood this so the, 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 it, it, it's, so when you say setting This is up, a plan basically a plan. of how the right, tartan okay. will be. Right, okay. So basically if these are in the wrong So you've got two reds, one, one yeah. purple, another two yeah. reds, one purple. When it comes to here, which you can see this is far more complicated. That's a tarn here. Yeah, this one here as well. The same thing. Yeah. But you'll see when we get up to the water mill itself, once you get this set up, yeah. uh, when you're running it, you'll see it developing. It's, that's only the warp, the length weighs the fibers. Yeah. So this thing's pushed over to the machine or? No, no, it's going straight Oh, it's taking it straight off. It's taking it straight off. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, once this, so this is the, what they call the trail. So once they are set up in the trail, the whole design is set up and all the patterns are set up, that's when they will start to run it onto the machine. Uh, sorry, you can see on this one, they've started to work on this one. So this is set up here for this design. So this is a tartan on this one? This is a Red Wallace, Red Wallace okay. modern, 
which is black, red, black, red green, yellow. Yellow. There's green in that one. Yeah. Alright, oh, oh, right, okay. Sample machine basically, so it does the same process as the big walking machines. Mm -hmm. But um, this one, once you start it away, it's only a single cone on each one instead of setting it up on the crail like that. Okay. So you have your various colours and single cones, not broken down. Yeah. And then you set it away and it just runs itself basically, computerised. Yeah. It works in multiples of seven metres, mm -hmm. and we really uh, use this for the sampling. You end up, if you do 7 metres, you would end up with someone in the region 9.5 metres finish. Mm -hmm. So mostly for special weaves, custom weaves for specific um, customers who may want to have their own design or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So that's an option that we offer now um, to, to, uh, to a customer. Is this base. something recent or have you done this? It, it's, we've done this for a few years now, but it's becoming really, really popular because people want, you can see, Going round there, that's just one, it's picking up one at a time, you can see it yeah. moving up and down there. Yeah. It'll change uh, which, which roll it takes on it, or which cone it takes around there. Yeah. So he just presses that and walks away, but that one needs to be on in the machine. But what's happening now is uh, more people are looking to have their own design, a tweak design, you know, and it could be a corporate one. Yeah. Just an individual. All of them. Just an individual. Yeah. And we have we have quite a few individuals. Yeah. The, the, the yeah. We can see that it's, it's a different setup there on this one. So it's just going first. Yeah, yeah. Now take it straight from there. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
basically once the fabrics have been taken off the, the loom, mm -hmm. they come through here to the mending or darning uh, um, area. Mm -hmm. So what's happened here is we get put onto this examination table initially, mm -hmm. measuring the length, but checking for flaws. So now once it comes from the, the, the weaving shed, um, what happens is it comes through to the darning stroke mending um, department and basically then it's examined on this examination machine, measuring the length and also checking for any flaws etc etc. Any flaws that are discovered which would be breakage or something like that, they would be knotted in the machine generally through there but anything that's missed would be uh, marked here and then put into the next to the pile uh, to be um, taken across the tables here. And these are scarves? These are scarves in this instance, um, but every, everything we do would go through the same process. So the length, the finished length is always different? Yes, because uh, you have a shrinkage. Shrinkage. So okay. that would go from, from us, this is, we're still at the raw material age, uh, yeah. stage basically. Yeah. So we went from yarn mm. to actually a, a, a fabric, but a raw material fabric. And it will spread and shrink. And it will shrink and stretch it, during the finishing process. You'll feel, if you felt that as a scarf at the moment, you would notice that that's still a bit flat and a bit, a bit rough. When you see the finished scarf, it's nice and soft and fluffy but it's been raised and finished and everything. So that's a, that's the next process which is not here, that's down in the Scottish borders that we do that. Once it's been inspected, this is where we've come to the next uh, uh, um, area. So basically what they're doing is they're, they're running their hands across to see if they Feeling. can feel any flaws or anything okay. like that. Uh, and they're inspecting with their eyes as well, of course. And they're looking just to see if they can you feel that. Yeah, looking for the knots and things like that, or a little mark. Uh, if they find anything, for instance, on this one here, there's been a thread out. So that has been sewn in by hand, okay. all the way across. Um, so she's actually lifting the warp one thread at a time with a needle. How, how would that happen? Because when it's it, it weird, could, it just doesn't it pick up break. a thread or something, this is one. This is one or breaks. Generally a breakage to be honest with you, it wouldn't generally miss, but generally it'd be a break. The machine, the machine would stop automatically, but the speed it's, the speed it's running at, of course, means that uh, it, it's still something there and depends how big it is. So as soon as it gets a break, the machine picks up that defect and stops okay. automatically. And then you have that. And then you have a lot. But the end here before they go through the finishing process, because when you go to the finishing process, what you're doing is you're washing the, the fabric and the width of the wool, of course, when you wash it, there's a potential that it, it expands. So basically everything, gets, everything fills in a bit more, so any, any mended flaws of that would just be filled in. Uh, they've just become part of the fabric, they're solid, exactly the same as the rest of the weave, because it's just, instead of being put in by the loom, it's put in by hand, that one thread. So basically, um, after the mending process is completed uh, and any flaws have been uh, uh, mended uh, by the darners, um, we have the fabric transported from here to the Scottish borders to be finished. Uh, this is the raw material. When that comes back after finishing, it is the polished and um, ready to go fabric for kilts. I mean, you say whatever. finish, you mean? The finish is basically, it's stabilized. It's got the top finish on it. It's been washed, it's clean. The fabric at this stage here is still got, uh, it's still pressed. greasy, pressed and everything, yeah. Okay. It's still greasy here, it's still got the lino in for the wool and everything and it's that's right, still okay. taken out. Okay. So that's, that's the process uh, and it comes back in as you say, it's, it's, uh, it's washed, pressed, it's stabilised so there's no shrinkage or anything like that. Um, Probably it, checked again. Che it's checked again, yeah. uh, it's sheared so basically it, it's... Um, basically like shaving but shaving the fabric to take the, any fibre off it yep. because for kilts of course the fabric needs to be crisp yep. to hold the pleat if it's too soft you won't hold the pleat so for us it needs to be shaved crisp still have a nice handle um, and uh, we'll hold the pleat when we make that up and that will hold the pleat so maybe we can do you know when women in the borders you know looking at the dye dyeing of the, the garb yeah and maybe have a look at the finishing another, yeah another video yeah, you know, yeah another, another day uh-huh it's a, it's about a 40 40 mile difference uh, yeah. for Langham to Gala Shoes, but yeah I mean okay. they would be happy to let us see everything that would be yeah. very interesting for your uh, your viewers all right Bill. okay thanks very much no problem it was General, interesting my pleasure thanks very much always lovely to see you yeah.